So this will be the third report of crisis groups since 2012 on the uh, influx of Syrians into Turkey, both their conditions uh, in the country, but also their impact on the um, host communities and Turkish political scene. Well, what we did was extensive research on the, in the border provinces, in particular in Kilis, Gaza, Antep, and Hatay, um, where the concentration of Syrians is, is very high. Um, but we also made an effort to talk to the host communities uh, as well as the political authorities. What we encountered um, in our conversations with the refugees, and there are 2.7 million now registered and apparently many more unregistered, is that they have a, a profound sense of uncertainty. And that uncertainty about their future, about whether they want to stay in Turkey or not, is reflected also in Ankara's policies. And the problem is these two dynamics feed into each other. The longer Ankara postpones making a firm integration strategy for Syrians and accepting their permanence, the more unpredictability is reflected onto the Syrian refugees as well. We spent a lot of time in the field. We talked to families, to children, to small business owners. Um, what we saw uh, was that the level of integration between the Turks and the Syrians is actually quite low. Very few Syrian children or Syrian women had Turkish friends. Among the host community, the Turkish society, we see a strong sense of pride about the hospitality that's been uh, offered to the Syrians. So there's a sense that as long as the Syrians are victims and the, the compassion needs to be um, shown to them, but then when the conversation changes and it becomes about the empowerment of Syrians and the rights of Syrians and the long-term integration of Syrians, then the, a more negative sentiment um, is, is voiced. There's also concern about security risks. The very fact that there was one uh, terrorist attack that was um, carried out by somebody who was registered as a refugee hike made those concerns increase. On the other hand, there also needs to be a realization that the risk of not integrating the Syrians is much higher. And education and employment uh, stand out as the two most important areas. Accommodating the Arabic language is going to be very important. As long as refugees go to, can't explain their problem to the doctors, the fact that the public uh, health system has been opened up to them uh, is, is almost meaningless. The country needs a long-term strategy and it needs to be based on the assumption that the Syrians are here to stay.